M0FXB. Welcome back to my videos on the QCX USDX HF radio. In this I'm just going to provide the links for the firmware and some instructions that I have had from the manufacturer. You can see the device just there, that's what it looks like, it's a three band device. The instructions and photographs will be on my Facebook page. I've asked for more detailed instructions but this is what they say. There are two inside, one forward encoder and one backward encoder. I've received two firmware versions so it reads to me that one is for turning to the left and one is for turning to the right. One of the firmwares have been labelled with an F so it says the one with F meaning reverse P2. This style is a forward encoder that burns forward P3. It does say when burning turn off the power switch and do not plug in the power. They've also supplied these photographs, one showing the encoder, or two showing the encoder. So I'm guessing they're just showing that one turns to the right, one turns to the left. And then power switch wise, which is probably quite critical, this one is turned is clicked up and that is the off position. Now they haven't told me if I use these pins marked here on the board but I assume these will be the ones for using the IDE software. I've got my Arduino Uno board and you can see the configuration. I know it's not completely clear but it actually starts at number 10 and ground, end, ground ends there is the last one. So you've got the green, yellow, purple, blue and black which are marked in this photograph I will link in. You've got the mossy which is yellow, purple is the miso, blue is the SCK and reset is green and then ground is black. And on the board these are marked this is the QCX SDR, so they are marked on the top right, and you can see ground, mossy, misu, SEK, and RST. So that's where you connect. Uh, the key thing is not to power or turn on the device when you are loading this firmware. And clicking the firmware, it does show up as a as a normal sketch type file, and it asks you to create a folder called BD4IGH. Um, uh, before running it and then it's the usual system and I will do it but the usual system would be to select your board so it's already created a file so while I'm, I'm just going to send it in but I haven't actually spent time on this but I'll make a separate video so you'd select your board I'm on COM10, so you right click device manager and just get your COM number. So right click device manager and it's COM10 just there. Select that it's an Arduino Uno board that we're using. Quite a long list. Click OK, then check if we go to Programmer, make sure it's Arduino ISP. I've already programmed the Arduino board to be a programmer. You just go File, Examples, go down to Arduino ISP and click that. It opens a new window. I'm not going to do it now, but then when you're in that window, you just go upload instead of upload programmer you do upload but to actually upload the firmware we stay here and we would go sketch upload using programmer and and then yeah you can see I've got an error there but this is the process thanks for watching my channel bye for now